Hello, future me. Welcome to day 313. Um, today's been all right. It hasn't been the greatest, but um, I want to start off with with saying that I'm pretty sure I found out why uh, one year didn't fall on 365. I knew it wasn't, but I thought it was going to be like a few, but it was it fell on like day 303. I realized that I I had like assumed that it wasn't going to be on day 365 because of all the days I missed, but I thought it was going to be like t like 10 days max. But then I started thinking about it, I was like, I've probably missed like 60 days or some shit. I don't know, really. I just, I, I'm assuming. So I, I, I don't think there's a misnumbering happen. I think it's just all the days that I've missed have accumulated to a larger number than I thought it did. Um, but yeah, so I uh, woke up at like 2. It was really hard to get out of bed, but I did go to sleep really high. I, I was really high last night. I, oh my god, I was so lucky. I I don't remember much. Again, like like I'm not remembering a lot of these. Um, I just, I know I walked in the room, I was already high, and I started listening to music, and I started dancing my fucking ass off. I started, like, fucking, like, 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 not, not like, but like, full body, like, breaking it down sexual style. It was, I really wish I got it on video, not to show anyone, I just, to watch, you know. Um, but, but, and also, I wanted to see if it's, it's, if it was as good as I remember being, because in my memory, it was, I was breaking it down fucking, I, I was doing good. But it, it, in reality, it probably wasn't. It probably wasn't very good. Um, but yeah, I did that. Uh, that was fun. I don't really remember much else. I just... I, I watched... I watched some My Name is Earl. And some Thanos, I think. Wow, what episode of My Name is Earl did I watch? I'm talking... Let me see if I can remember. Oh, oh, I watched Inside Probe. The Inside Probe in Season 4. The... The two episodes special. Uh, so that was that was pretty cool. I forgot the sores in my mouth, but anyways. Um, but I woke up today at like two, and uh, you know, I got up. I had a salmon egg and cheese sandwich. It was good. And then I had goulash without the beet, so it was just sweet. Ugh, it was just sweet macaroni and tomatoes, but it was still really good. It was still really really good with uh, fish and chips. Fish and chips, uh, no, French and fries, Fr fish and fries, Jesus. And it was, it was really good. Um, but, uh, earlier I got like, I, I told myself like around fucking, I think three or four that I'm going to work on a song for like 10 minutes and then I'll start working on the paper. I called Colton around eight to show him the song. <laughs> I spent so long, but it was, it's, I think it's the best song I've ever made. It is just so pretty. Here, I'll play some of it because I have it. No, wait, no, my speakers aren't hooked up. But it's it's the, it's, for future me, it's the... Ah, ah fuck it, I'll just play it. Um, hold on, I, I got time. I got like an hour, hold on. I'm so fucking proud of this. Come on, headphone jack, all right. Ah, hold on. Uh, hold Colton Love Trick. So basically the thing about, so my friend, or Colton, um, we have this, I've made like four diss tracks on him and I've only like, it, and there's only really one good one. So I decided out of all the ones I've made, make finally make like a Colton Love Track. Yeah, I came up with this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip through it. Listen to shit. You can't hear it that well. It sounds really good in headphones though, and I'm really proud of it. I did like, like 10 vocal tracks. It's, it's it's I think it might be So there's I Eat Ass and then there's my goodbye song, and I think this is I'm not sure which one's the biggest one, but this one's fucking huge. I used to I think almost all the tracks on GarageBand, but I also did for goodbye. 
I so it's, it's either it's between this song and Goodbye. I'd ask is a big song. Like it has a bunch of stuff, but it's somewhere I don't think it's somewhere as big as this. But yeah. So anyways, I I um I went to go show Colton this song. He was in a group, he was in a call with Brandon and uh Ray. And I show I showed Colton the song and then I don't know, Ray started being like really loud, so I muted Ray. And then kind of in the middle of the song, Ray started like leaving and joining. And like it was fine, but like uh, after I showed Colton the song, Ray was like, uh, I, I tried to get your attention. I was like, well, that's just kind of annoying. And then I got, I got kind of into an argument, but it was less, it was more of me just trying to like not get in an argument, you know? But that really, like, like while making this song, I was really happy. I, I, I was just like in such a good mood and I showed Colton the song and I got into like the argument with Ray and that really brought my, I don't know, I just, it really brought me down for like no reason. And then I kind of started to realize that like, Maybe I just shouldn't really be in the group anymore because shit like that happened, it used to happen all the time. And I thought that maybe since, you know, I'm joining now, I'm, I'm different than I used to be, that it wouldn't happen anymore. But then it just happened. Uh, so I left the fucking server, which might be a dumb idea. I don't know. I it's It sounds so dramatic, but the fact that that brought me down that fast, that low fucking really made me upset. And it's not Ray's fault. I'm not blaming Ray for it. I'm blaming myself for it. But... I, I don't know, and no one said anything either, I, I, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, I'm just, I'm just messed up in the head, not in a cool way, <laughs> but yeah. so I, I just watched No Country for Old Men, I've watched Napoleon Dynamite, No Country for Old Men for my paper, and I need at least one, maybe two more, I have Interstellar, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do that one, I did No Country for Old Men, Napoleon Dynamite, I have Princess, Princess Bride, I fucking love Princess Bride, but I'm also not sure if I'm going to talk about that one either. And I have Tall Girl, which I'm going to watch because it's a bad movie. Um, yeah. I'm trying to debate if I want to smoke tonight or watch more of these movies. I was planning on smoking tonight, but I got to go back tomorrow because, I don't know. I do not want to go back. That's, I do not want to do this shit anymore. It's just so fucking. I don't want to do this. Anymore. I just, I do not. And the fact that I have more. Ugh. I told my dad about it, but I, I, I wasn't. I'm, I don't think he understands how bad it is. Like, I, I, I'm not good at communicating how bad it is. Because, I don't know. I just, it's bad. But I'm not. It's bad, I'm just not able to show how bad it is. Like, if I say it's bad, I, I don't look that bad right now, but... I don't know. I want to... I don't know. Like, if this is... If this is how it's going to be, if this is how life is supposed to be, I don't want... I don't want it. I, I, I don't care if it's, like, the right thing to do. If this is how it's going to be, I don't, who the fuck, I, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't care, I'll fucking, I'm, 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 not, I'm going to take a gap semester, and I'm going to get a job, and then work on a bunch of film stuff, because at this point, I just, I don't care anymore, I just do not want to do this shit again, and I want to try and pass all my classes, so if I do go back, I won't have to retake any of them, but I don't know, I just, I might watch one more movie. I'll, okay, I'll watch one more movie. And then I can finish the rest tomorrow. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Watch. I want to watch Princess Bride and Interstellar for them. But I feel like I need to find more movies that are like... Maybe less known or something. I, I don't know. I feel like these are like basic good movies. And I, like, like obviously they're really... I, Princess Bride and Interstellar are amazing movies. But I want to find ones that aren't, like, basic. Like, I feel like those are, ba like, n not basic as in they're, like, basic movies. Basic as in, like, if you ask anyone what their favorite movies are, that you're likely to find someone to say Interstellar or Princess Bride. I want to get a movie that, like, people know about but wouldn't directly go to as their favorite movie. Even though it, it would still be a good movie. Like, I feel like No Country for Old Men is a good pick for that because... And Napoleon Dynamite. Because No Country for Old Men is so... It is a really good movie, but, like, no one talks about it, even though I think it won, like, it won a lot of awards. 
but I love the fact that it has no soundtrack. Like, like it has like it might have some. No, actually, I I, I, I don't think it has any like soundtrack at all. And that and it that really forced the writers to like make dialogue good enough to stand alone on its own because I feel like a movie can have bad dialogue, but it be it can, it can kind of be covered up with a good soundtrack. You know what I mean? Like, obviously a hor horrible dialogue with good soundtrack that won't work, but like bad like okay dialogue with soundtrack will make it sound like good dialogue i think i i, I don't know i'm just kind of assuming but but I, I know that for a fact that since there's no soundtrack you really have to hammer in the dialogue and the delivery of the dialogue because i feel like you know with music it gives you it, it literally hand feeds you the emotion that you're supposed to feel within the scene without any fucking music you kind of you have to show more emotion to give the scene the emotion of the scene off you know what i mean um, but, yeah. but Napoleon Dynamite has an awesome soundtrack. Like it, 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 it's kind of the same thing where like it has that soundtrack, but it's only used in like I think like transitioning scenes. Um, yeah, it's only it's like used in scenes that don't have any dialogue, and like the scenes that have dialogue don't really have that much, don't really have that kind of soundtrack to it. Um, but right now, that's the only one I have for No Country for Old Men is no soundtrack, um, and focused on dialogue for Napoleon Dynamite. I have that it's unique soundtrack the dialogue in it and it has realistic characters like obviously all the characters like care all the characters are caricatures of people sorry that was my dad um but the characters themselves feel like someone i would meet you know like like uh R uncle rico i think i i can't i am so bad with it uh, uncle rico obviously the character himself is so like exaggerated well not so exaggerated but it's, it's exaggerated but i noticed and i guess it's not this specific character but like the actors that did this like maybe it was the editors or something but like there were just moments of like the one that just popped into my head was i think it was uncle rico and kip were eating and they were talking and i don't know just like fucking uncle rico just like dropped something on, on his arm and rubbed it off that's that's fucking that's that seems minute but that's kind of the point is that like having these minute things that regular people do in a scene it kind of just like makes it feel more real you know what i mean um dialogue i feel like the dialogue is fucking awesome just and the fucking delivery of i forget the guy who played napoleon dynamite but it's so good the delivery for almost everyone in the, i think everyone in this movie is really good um, obviously the acting isn't like amazing like the actor who played pedro isn't like fucking are going to win an oscar for it didn't win it. I don't know what I'm saying, but I but I feel like it was perfect. I feel like you know, like just the monotone for both of them. You know, um, the dog, like I might have to find some specific moments, but like I don't know, it just feels so real. It feels like a real thing. Um, and yeah, the, those are the only two I've written for. So I might I might watch one more. I might watch Tall Girl tonight, honestly. But yeah, um, yeah. So I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably won't end it there. I did list off what I ate today. Yep. All right. If I forgot to talk about anything, I'll leave in comments or talk about it tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye.